Hey guys, today we're going to be making a full screen navigation menu. It's going to look something like this. We're going to have an icon here, and then if we click, we're going to get this cool effect going from circle to full screen, as you see here. Then once we click back, it's just going to go back to its default. And the only thing we're going to need here is we're going to add font awesome icons, and this link is going to be in the description. So you just want to come here and copy this URL right here. And then we can just add that before this here. So we need to add link. And then for href, we want to paste that link here. And then we can start making this. I have it open with live server already here. We close that as well. So the first thing we're going to need is an input here. So we're going to create an input. Type is going to be checkbox. And we're going to give it an ID as well, which is going to be circle menu. Then we're going to need to add a label or circle menu. That's the ID we gave to this input. And then inside this label, we're going to render that icon. So we're going to render an icon here, which has a class of FAS, FA dash bars. So now we can see our input and the icon here. Then under that label, we're going to have a container. So deal with a class of container. And here we're going to have another div with the class of menu. And inside that menu, we're just going to add four anchor links. So we can do eight times four. And we can just add hashtag and flash here because they're not going to go anywhere. And this is just going to be home, about, projects, and contact. And then the last thing under this container, so not inside of it, after line 25, we're going to add another div with a class of info. And we're just going to have a single h2 here. And let's write this right here. So our title, which is full screen navigation menu. So I'm just going to copy paste that here. So this title is what we're going to have on like home page. And these links are going to be inside our menu. And this is all the HTML we're going to have here. Then we can switch to our CSS. And here we're going to target all the elements first. Gonna add a box sizing of for the box margin zero and padding zero, and we're also gonna add a font family of sans serif. Then the first thing we have is our input, which is type checkbox. So let's do that type checkbox, and we're just gonna make it display none because we don't want to show this input at all. So let's just do display none here. So now we only see these. Then the next thing is our label. So for this label, we're going to make it 50 pixels in width and 50 pixels in height as well. We're going to add some type of pink background. Border radius of 50% to make it look as a circle. And add some font size, 20 pixels. And we're also going to make this position absolute, so we can put it here. So we're going to use position absolute. I'm going to do top 20 pixels and write 20 pixels. I'm going to add a Z index of 1, so it's over on top of everything. Cursor of pointer. So if we hover over, you can see that. And then we also want to center this icon inside of it. So we're going to add display flex here on our label. And then our label contains our icon here. So we can do label i. We're going to add margin auto to center it. And we're also going to add a color of white. So that's everything for the actual label. Then the next thing we have is container. So container holds our whole menu that we're going to see once we click on the label. So let's target that here. We can make it full width here first and height 100% as well. And we're going to add some type of blue gray background. So now you can see that on the top. So we're also going to make it position fifth here. And it's always going to be on top of everything, as you see here. Then we want to set the top to zero and left to zero as well. And we're really going to use click path for this to make it as a circle. Let's do circle to 25 pixels. And then we're going to have some calc here. I'm going to use 
minus 45 pixels, 45 pixels. So what that did, now our container is hidden under this circle. So if we change either one of these, if we did like 65 here, you can see where that is. So that's our whole thing, our whole container, because you can see our background here. If we change this to that, you can see that's our container. So let's move this back to 45. So that's going to be hidden under this. And we're also going to add some transition. I'm going to do all 500 milliseconds, ease in, out. Then under our container, I'm going to target our input, which is type checkbox. And we're going to target when it's checked. And we want to grab our container. And in that case, once we get the container, we're just going to change this clip path we have here. So clip path. And we can change that to 100%. So we're all going to use the same thing as we have here. So circle. And we want to set it at 100%. So if we go back and click on this, you can see that already working. We just need to fix the nav and few other things or our menu so let's go back here we're also going to add display flex to the container just to center this menu or the links we have then we can target our menu we're going to add margin of auto as you see here now that should be centered and we're also going to add display flex here and flex direction column to make them under each other then we're going to target menu a so our anchor link we're going to remove the text decoration, so text decoration none, change the color to white, add the font size of 70 pixels, and a bit of margin for top and bottom, so 14 pixels zero. So we center that as well, and then the only thing here is we can center this as well, and then I'll show you a few other things we can change for animations and colors. So we called it info. So we can target our info here. We're just going to make it full width, so 100%, and min height of 100VH. Now the background. And we're also going to add display flex just to center this uh, H2 we have on the page. And then here we can do info, H2, margin auto again to center it and font size 8 pixels and we can also add a color here we're going to have our gpa which is going to be 0 0 0 and 0.5 so now if we save that this is our home page and then if we click the circle we got our menu here so good thing about this we can also mess with the colors and we can also mess with the transition so for example if you want this to be faster let's find out whether that is so here we can make it a 300 if you want this to be pretty quick as this or you can change this to like 8 or 900 so like this but i prefer somewhere around 3 to 500 maybe 400 probably works the best for this example and then if you wanted to change the background what we can do here for our container if we comment this line and add background again so we're going to add another color here just to show you and we're going to add the same color of this label so we can come here and we can just copy that so we're going to use that for our container background but this is at beginning and then here once we click on the checkbox we're going to change the container background to something else so we can do two zero Two zero four six. So we can see how that looks like. It goes from one color to another. But I think we will need to change this a bit. So maybe like seven or eight hundred, just so we're able to see it here. So if we click on this, I think this is a pretty cool effect as well because it animates from a single color to two colors here. So I would like it this way. But if you guys prefer what we had before. You can just remove this background right here and add this back. But if you like this, you can just leave it as it is. So that would be it for this final project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.